It's been a classic pitcher's duel with Cole McKay. The team's closer. Digging himself out of a hole, working the edges of the plate. It's the bottom of the ninth, two out. The winning run threatening on third. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. The count now three and two. Brady pounds his bat on the plate in frustration. Of the gum. Swallow it. Don't get your mother upset. It's with Kathleen. We barely even knew her. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. to a party later on. You wanna come? Save it, Terry, not now. Yeah, whatever, like she's gonna hear us. She looks really good, considering. This old bat looks better now than when she was alive. <gasps> How much would you pay me if I give her a kiss? Terry, not now. Oh, she's got a piece of snot hanging out of her right nostril. You think that's real? You think they stuck that in there? I don't know, this is Dad's sister. It's a lot. She never said two words to me. What's with the old man? All right, well, forget that now. She's dead. So just say your prayers or something. Hold oh, on. Eight years of Catholic school and you don't know one prayer. Bless us, our Father, for these like gifts that we are about to receive. Not that. I'll do it. I'll do it. Coming with us or what? Where to? I already told you, to a party, remember? Someone invited the two of you to a party? <laughs> Forget about it. We don't need no pure altar boy hanging with us. Pure as your mother. Have you even seen a girl yet, huh? Look, forget it. I just thought since you never get out. Wait up. 
the O'Leary family. They went to the cave. Big deal, right? Don't <laughs> go no party. Shut up. Come. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'll hold your coat. Okay, get out of your minds. Don't puss out on us. You're the only one who could squeeze through. Oh, forget I'm not doing this. Quit dicking around and do as I say. Get over me. Trying to say something? Huh? I can't hear you. The only thing I hear is, okay, Terry, I'll do it. You're both assholes. We lower you in, you go upstairs, and you open the door. Okay? Okay? Bingo! Come on. Come on! Come on, Buttercup! Wake up! What you got, man? Anything good? Watches. Check this out. Nice. I'm keeping this, all right? Yeah. My brother! Forget about him. O'Leary's in the driveway, man! I brought you something. Can I come in? Yeah. You should call this morning, afternoon, and evening sickness. I know you can't eat it now, but I made you a sandwich. It's important to eat. Oh, God, I'm not get it out. Oh, peanut butter, I can smell it. You need the protein. I need to feel normal again. I know. Does this mean you're not mad at me? Don't get the wrong idea, Katie. I'm still mad. Do you and that boyfriend of yours? But we'll get everything taken care of. You know what we discussed, Ma? Not such a terrible thing. No child of mine is having an abortion. This is good.
That's what we owe. Little rabbit. I forgot to give my medicine. You didn't make it, huh? Looks like it's gonna be rabbit fricassee tonight. Why don't you fellas go on ahead? We'll meet you later. If I'm late, I want a 20 on early warning. You got that? No problem, Odez. Yeah, I'd hustle if I was you. Some good picks out there today. Oh, I know it. You think you can get one past your old man, huh? What do you mean? When you were crying like a girl, I smelled booze on your breath. You can't have it both ways. Either you cry like a girl, or you drink like a man. What's it gonna be? Think you could drink like a man at your age? You follow through and do it. As my father used to say, save the tears for the cemetery, cause they're wasted on me. Go ahead. Maybe you shouldn't drink either. What did you say? Nothing. You know, maybe when I ask you what I should or shouldn't do, you'll know you're old enough to tell me. Clean up the mess. Any of your friends want a drink, you know where to send them. Not again. That's my goddamn shoe. Fine. Didn't fit right anyway, you woolly head son of a bitch. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Bless me, Father, five sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? My last confession was about a week ago, a month ago. Go on, young man. I've had impure thoughts. I uh, lied to my mother, whack, and my father. I swore during the Red Sox game when they were take both of the bunt and they lost. I got drunk and robbed the house. Oh, Did you repeat that? I've had impure thoughts. Uh, no, the last part. You mean getting drunk and robbing, robbing the house? This is very disturbing, Cole. You know? All those Sundays with you beside me, I, I should hope I recognize your voice. Father, I feel terrible. My brother's sucking me in. Terry is not the issue here. You've got to be stronger than that. There's a lot of bad in the world, and it's easy to gravitate toward the bad. Be left by the wayside. Do you understand? Yes, Father. I want you to think about the clearest purest thing that God has given you. Do you have any idea what that could be? Keep you focused. Spaceball. Baseball? What about your plans to go into the priesthood? Father, you asked the question, that's what came out. All you got is that one pitch. Sooner or later, I'm gonna catch up to it. Come on. Let me see it. Let me see it. That was our only ball. What are you looking at? You all hagged up bitch? I guess the game's over then. Cole, don't think you're anything special, okay? When it's a money pitch, I can throw like that too. All right, Terry. 
Oh, I'll be late tonight. This Kathleen's going away tonight. Good hit. Yeah, you too. Good. Fancy dishes. It's the good china. From your mother, remember? Yeah. Haven't seen these in a lifetime. The kids were in diapers when they saw these ass. Oh, your kids were all beautiful children, weren't they? Yeah. They were. Even Terry. Terry, no way. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? I think I saw him outside with Anthony. Brain trust. Go get him, man. Yeah. Your sister's going away dinner. It's okay, I'll go get him. <clears throat> it ain't fair. All the wax ain't fair. There's going to be another adjustment as well. Concerns you. Adjustment? In order to pay for your sister, we're taking you out of St. Mark's. Putting you in public. It's Terry's school. I don't want an argument out of you. I'll make do. The Raiders are the best team in the city. I won't even make that lineup. And Father McGrew just said I have a good shot at being on the varsity style rotation this year. Why you worry about something as trivial as baseball when you know your future lies in the priesthood? There you are, Terry. Perhaps you can show your brother around when he gets to your school. Gets to my school? Yes, Terry, you and your brother are going to be attending the same institution. You want me to give him a tour? Mm. That's a beauty. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, Margaret. He's two years behind me. What am I going to show him? Oh, I'm catching up, though. Have a seat, please, so your sister can say grace. No, Margaret. Yes, you are. It's your sister's goddamn dinner. You want me to eat all my vegetables? That's enough. Oh, this is just great. Well, the Brady Bunch got nothing on us. What a sham all this is. Is anyone here really happy? Terry, calm down now. Hmm? People think I'm dumb. I'm not dumb, I'm smart. I'm smart enough to know that if I study, I get a C. If not, I get a C minus, so why bother? Emma? You and I both know you could do much better than a C if you just applied yourself. A C C would be a loser. Nobody expects anything out of Terry McKay. Nobody here gives a good goddamn about me or what I want, and none of you care. Terry, that's not true. Oh, it's not. Well, then what's my favorite color? What's my favorite baseball team? Hey, Dad, how come I didn't want to go to camp when I was eight? Terry, I don't want to hear it. It's not about you tonight. <laughs> Come here. Think you're smart? Enough. Stop it. Damn it. One more to the collection. You'll have to take on this wonderful chore while I'm gone. I'm so sorry they had to pull you out of St. Mark's. It's all right. I'm actually 
kind of looking forward to it. <laughs> Change is good, right? Yeah, and you'll do fine. You'll be so far ahead and you won't have to do any homework for two years. And I'll be girls. <laughs> I heard rumors they exist. <sighs> yeah. Tomorrow this should be dry. Then you hang the hook. Three inches above the hole. Are you gonna be okay? gonna be fine. You should go to bed. It's probably a temporary thing. I land another job. I got part-time work lined up already. As soon as your sister's taken care of, I get back on my feet, you're back on track for the seminary. It is what you want, isn't it? Not exactly sure I'm cut out for it. Since when? You know, since... Since I've been doing some thinking on some of the vows. Vows? Which ones? Well, chastity for one, you know? I'm not exactly comfortable with the idea of being chaste. That's a doozy. You getting laid? No. Yeah? No, oh, no. <laughs> but yeah. besides playing ball, it's all I could think about. Perfectly natural. Listen, from age 13 to my late 20s, all I could think about was pussy. Was, was, was sex. Really? Really. And I met your mother. Wait a minute. You know about the birds and the bees, right? I mean, you know how the whole thing works, don't you, kiddo? Yeah, Dad, I know. Uh, yeah, well, I know you know, but I mean, attending that institution doesn't exactly expose you to the world. Yeah, well, I got it figured out. Well, no, it's, it's, it's not, not like you see in Playboy. It, it, you know, it gets all wet. I, uh, you know, this, uh, that's okay, you know, but not too much. And uh, <clears throat> always, always gift wrap your package, you know, protection. Well, we're going to be late. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Taking matters into your own hands? your boyfriend David gonna drive the bus? A faggot. Go away, Terry. I don't want to deal with you right now. Come on. Get in. I'll drive you. Wherever you want to go. fine young ball player here. Why, next season I'd wager he'll make it into the starting rotation. There isn't going to be a next season, Father. We're taking our son out of St. Mark's. Out? I've always thought that Cole was here because his faith was central to him. Have you found something more important in your life? No. No, Father, not, not at all. It's, um, you know, it's the most important work a man could do. It's just... It's just that, yeah, you know, no one, right now. No one becomes a priest nowadays. I don't want my son to become some sort of freak. He's going in a different direction. Isn't that right? 
Mr. McKay, I'd hardly label our calling freakish. Well, you might want to consider getting the church a good publicist then, because, uh, you know, your calling's been taking a serious hit lately. Here's the bottom line. Kid's hormones have finally kicked in. He's no longer interested. Isn't that right? Not exactly. Have you made any short or long-term plans? Uh, I'm going to go to public school. And uh, I thought I'd work as a waiter. For now. You've been such a promising student, exemplary in all ways. And now you'd prefer to serve hamburgers instead of God. It's a lot more practical. McDonald's will serve a few more than Catholicism has. How many billions are they up to now? This is not to be made light of, Mr. McKay. By choosing this path, your son may very well be stepping into the abyss. Here he has a home and, and a future out there. Every man has these urges that you're feeling. By denying them, we make ourselves stronger, holier. Am I not right, Coleman? Yes, Father. Yeah, that's a crock if ever I heard it. No wonder you guys are so out of touch. But you feel right here, that tingle in your nuts is the most natural thing in the universe. It says you're alive. And no amount of praying is going to make it go away. It's what makes the world go round. You deny that, you deny who you are. I had no idea that such a fine young man could come from someone who has such disdain for God and his deeds. Come on, Cole. It's time to go. Cole, come on. Hold him. Uh, what's the matter? You're a free man. Hey, what do you say we go celebrate? Got ourselves a couple of beers at O'Reilly's. What the hell? You're almost old enough. No hard stuff, Dad, I, I promise. I was thinking, uh, now that I'm a public, maybe I could get a job. Bring in some money. How about, about dropping me at Marcelino's? You're aiming high. You want me to come in? No, it's all right. I'll come and tell you when to pick me up. Change. Fuck off. God you with something? Yeah, I'm looking for the owner. You're looking at him. Start yakking. Oh, well, um, I'm from the neighborhood, and I was just hoping that you could use me. For what? Restaurant work. Yeah. You ever wait at tables? Uh, no. Bust? No, sir. Wash dishes? 
Actually, yeah, all the time. Hey, whereabouts? Don't tell me. At home. <laughs> tell me this is a recent career decision. Well, I just decided the other night, but I really want to work here. Yeah. I got a bunch of Dominicans in the kitchen. You know why? No. Because illegals work cheap and hard. And they don't know enough English to give you any lip. It's tough to compete with that. OK, well, I could, you could pay me as much as you pay them, less even. And I'll work even harder. Come and on. as now many hours go. as you Come want. Come on, let's go. Listen, I need to help out my family. Chip in. What's your name, kid? Cole. Cole McKay. It's me. Joey Cole Santo. All right, here's what we do, Cole McKay. You are going to be my utility man. That means you do whatever I need. You could be washing dishes, delivering meals, parking cars, whatever. You old enough to drive? Yeah. I could ask you your birthday, or I could trust you. I feel blessed, I hate math. There's a delivery van out back. Make sure your feet hit the pedals. Adjust the mirrors. Drive around a bit. Then you start tonight. You bang it up. You not only get canned, you wind up paying me back for the rest of your life. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Thank you so much. You're not going to be sorry. You better hope not. Kathleen McKay, right? Yes, that's right. I'm Sister Mary Elise, your intake counselor. Do you prefer Kathleen or Katie? I call her Katie. Kathleen. Let her help you. I'll see you inside. Do you have everything you need? Absolutely everything a girl could want. This is the best thing, Katie. You'll understand someday and... Thank you for it. Yes, that's right. It's just hard for you to see that now. I'll call you later. Hi, Mom. decided to join us to pursue an education, huh? All bright and shiny for his first day. Did you bring your multivitamins? Where were you last night, Terry? We've been no sweating. Good. How's around? Those are my pants? Yeah, so? So they're my pants. Did you steal them? No, I didn't steal them. Like, they were in the dryer. I ran out of mine. I not say you can borrow those. Hey, it's, it's not a big deal. I'll Take get them off my pants. I'll get them back to you. I'm, I'm, no way. Oh. Take off my pants now. Terry, I'm not taking off the pants. Just forget it. It's a smart move, Arthur boy. <laughs> Nobody touches my brother but me. Got that? Nobody. One last chance. Jeez, okay. You sure? Yeah. Maybe you should keep them on you. Okay. They look good on you. I'll forget it, okay. Take them off? Okay. Why is it only my shoes? 
loose, huh? I've had it with you, you crap bastard. This is going to be true of each and every right triangle we encounter, where C is the hypotenuse, or the long side, and A and B form... Mr. McKay, correct? Yes, sir. Call McKay. Any relation to Terry McKay? Yeah, he's my brother. Take a seat. Thank you. Now, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Ah, yes, the Pythagorean theorem. As this example shows, so all the rest of the Oh, yeah. Not exactly They're my day. <laughs> Your brother's out of control. Triple. No, In other words, nah, he's not, he's not so bad. So bad? Look, I was a new kid once, too. I'm Donna. Congratulations, Mr. McKay. You just earned yourself a detention. King? Yeah, I must have got out. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him all day. You better go look for him. You show up. You know, I know you watch baseball in here. You do, huh? What are you? Not a Harry? Looks like a good game. There's a beautiful motion. The pitch is high and inside. There's a lousy pitch. Uh, what he just did that there's control. High and inside, brushed him right back. You throw a few loan away, they crowd the plate adjust to you, and then you fire one at the head. Keeps him honest. You gotta keep him honest. I'm working on my splitter right now. It's still light out. How about me and you go have a cat? This one's dead. Grab me a coal one, would you, kid? Have a school today. Not so hard. What happened? It's the bus. You've never been late in your entire life, and here on the first day at a new school. Sorry, Ma. I won't permit you to become like Terry. Your father might, but I won't. Two peas in a pod. There's no room for a third. I'm not like Terry. 
Words are words. Actions define who you are. Wish me luck. You sure you want to do this? It ain't no cakewalk raising a kid alone. Don't listen to her. You got serious balls. I'll see you. Having a hard time with that last week. Is that getting better now? A little bit. Excuse me. Social services, Margaret McKay speaking. Yes. What? What do you mean, Monsieur? Sandy, something's coming. We'll have to reschedule. Okay. I'm sorry. I catch anyone stealing any more goddamn shrimp. And I rip your arms off. Everyone hear me? No more shrimp. I feed you, I pay you, and you do this? Learn some respect. Joey. Joey, I can I can bust tables. I don't even. You need another guy out there. I don't even like shrimp. You want to bust tables? Uniforms in the back room. Don't go near the bar. I want no mix near the liquor. And work on growing a mustache or something. Look older, would you? Son. Koch Konke. Graves. Yo. Step down. Step in, hit against McKay. Yeah, this will be fun. Not bad. McGuire, where are you going? Get back in there. You're not done getting humiliated. Show me the breaking stuff. I just hung there. Work on it. Hey. Hi. <laughs> you really look beautiful. Uh, I'm not ready just yet. Yeah, no, I'm probably a little early anyway. You. They're beautiful. <laughs> Come on in, Beth, please. Uh, 
So you can uh, wait in the living room while I just finish getting ready? Yeah. Did you always have this bird? What do you mean? Uh, did you just buy it? Daddy? No, I've had him since I was a little kid. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah. Can I take him with me wherever I go? Can I pet him? I'm sorry. That was quick. You learn to chew your food slower. Didn't go too well. Didn't get any, huh? No. I killed a bird. It's a new expression on me. Not exactly a good thing, is it? No, Dad. I, I literally killed her bird. Got out of the cage. You, you kill it. Sorry. <laughs> well, don't worry. You know, you, you're just getting started. Come on, you're young. You can still tolerate them. You're, you're not a bad looking kid. Look, all you gotta do is figure out what they wanna hear. You're in like Flynn. I guarantee you one thing, though. Each and every one of them has some new and nutty perspective in the world. Gee, thanks, Dad. everything and deliver this. It's going to Tommy Orsini. He's at Skips. He's a very important man to this restaurant and to my family. You understand? Yeah, I got you. All right. Hey, it is my child. All right, bring it over here, kid. Come on. All right, shine's over. Yeah. Come on, kid, bring it over. You're gonna be waiting here a half hour. Come on. Yeah, come here. Come here. Hey, you keep the change, all right? Do my best to show you.
here. Did Orsini mess with you? Did he? Well, what then? Orsini just threw money at him like he was some $200 a week stiff. Threw money at who? My father, and he just, just stood there. What was your old man doing at the barber shop? He was just sh shining shoes. You didn't know he worked there? What a loser. Hey, he's trying to put food on the table. No shame in that. Then how come he could look me in the eye? Just because you don't like it don't mean it's not honorable. Go home. He's family. It's local time. Things always get better. Come on. What's the matter, Doc? Seen a ghost? I'm afraid the news isn't good, Mr. McKay. The latest MRI shows it's spreading. How long are we talking? Well, it's hard to say. Have you put your affairs in order? My affairs? Oh, sure, Doc, sure. Taxes all paid up, college funds set up for all the kids. Margaret, she's a beneficiary in a huge insurance policy I've been contributing to since day one. Everything's squared away. You given any consideration to quitting drinking? Why? So when I'm putting my affairs in order, I can see how fucked up they are. Look, I'm sorry, you're just doing your job. Kind of knew what the news was gonna be. Half my family's on the ground by the time they're 40. I'm trying to think what I should do. It was the last hurrah. I a lot of stuff I haven't done. I never caught a foul ball at Fenway. I never swam in the ocean, you know, it's right there for Christ's sake. I can't figure out what to do. How the hell do you wrap things up? You haven't told anyone? You need to share this with your family. All right. Same stuff as last time, huh? Give me a call. That was intentional, Blue. All right, batter up. Hold up. Play ball.
Do you have any idea how long I've been looking for you? Or about as long as I've been hiding. Can we talk? Manny, I need a break. David gotten married? This? No. He would never stand up to his parents in a million years. This is so respectable people such as yourself don't get the idea that an unmarried pregnant girl is serving their eggs. Slinging eggs and ham's not the answer. It just doesn't make any sense. Did it make sense to marry Dad when you were pregnant with Terry? Thank you, but I'd rather go it alone and take my chances. You think that's why your father and I got married? Don't sit there and tell me that's not the reason, Ma. I know that's the reason. Let me tell you a story. I was 22 when I came to Boston. I was a beautiful young woman then, and I don't mind saying so. One night, I met the most handsome man. Wonderful dancer, beautiful singing voice, kind. He was like no one I'd ever known before. On our first date, we went to this little mom and pop Italian place in the North End. Wherever we went, someone knew him and was glad to see him. He was everything I was looking for. Okay, I gotta get back inside. I'm not finished. Somewhere along the way, your father stopped being my... He just stopped being. So I took a job. And raised the family. Yes, I failed in parts. But make no mistake. I gave you a good start. You're well spoken and courteous. You know how to present yourself, and you didn't get that from your father. Everything your father had to give your brother Terry took. He'll pay a price for it someday, but before you decide on raising this child, be damn sure you've got the nerve, not just the love, to raise it. To go the distance with that child, even when nothing else in your life works. It takes more than you know, Kathleen. And more than you've got. What about you? You stayed in a dead marriage for years, and for what, Ma? So people would think we were a normal family? We're not. Terry was right. Terry was not right. Oh, raise this child. To be proud. Not ashamed he won't be thrown into some Catholic school or some seminary to wipe away the guilt of his mother. I won't give up on this baby like you gave up on Terry. You take that back! Does this mean we won't be coming over for Christmas or Easter? Okay. How's the arm feel? I guess it's been run over. <laughs> Gray has separated his shoulder. That means if we make it past the semis, I'm gonna need you for the finals, too. Can you be ready? I'm ready now. You sure? Why wouldn't I be? Genealogy. You know what that is? Yeah. It's about your family tree. Not good or bad, you, you come from the family you come from. I knew your father growing up. Hell, back then anybody knew anything about baseball heard of him. Now, he had a gift. And he just threw it away. So let's just say I'm keeping my eye on you. Hey. 
How'd you do today? Should have been there. Pitched a good game. So we win or what? Yeah, we won. Yeah, good for you, huh? Maybe you showed up to a game once in a while and actually took an interest you wouldn't have to ask. Yeah, just because I wasn't there didn't mean I don't care. I got tied up today, that's all. How's the elbow? It's good. Keep it iced. If you've got to pitch soon, lay off the break and stuff in practice. Put some ointment on it. Look, Dad, honestly, can we just stop this? There's no point. I'm trying to tell you something. Something important here. What makes your advice so good, huh? Look how far I got you. Demise. Trust me, one more beer's not gonna make a bit of difference. <sighs> Looks like you'll be joining me, eh, Maggie? Desmond, we haven't done anything jointly in years. This is no time to start. Yeah, for good reason. You always gotta keep knocking me down, Maggie. Hold me in contempt every step of the way. How'd you become the queen of pessimism, huh? You'll marry the king. Now we've got a dynasty. A whole lineage we've passed on these champion traits to. Stop with me, please, not tonight. Big man, Desmond McKay. Big Vietnam War hero. Fight all your battles in your head. Leave nothing left for anyone else. What do you bring to this house? Name one thing. You're stewed, Maggie. Oh, I deserve to be stewed. I am the only one who tries to keep this family together. Shut up! Shut your trap! Stop it. Scrap kids between your mother and me. We had all the promise in the world. You're sick. That's enough, both of you. This doesn't concern you. And now look at you. How in the world could I have been so wrong? Not in front of the boy, Maggie. I'm warning or you. Or else what? As if anything you've ever done has ever mattered. <laughs> look what you made me do! That's enough! Get out. Pretty good on you. Where you get the new wheels? I earned them. Come on. Would you lighten up? Have some of this. Did you hear about good old Desmond? Do I have to? You're gonna want to hear this. He's a dead man. He's got the big C. It's bullshit. He told you? Everything I needed to know was in his coat pocket. He had a pocket full of these. And I asked Anthony's uncle, the pharmacist, what they were. I'd give him the cancer patients in the late stages for the pain. What's your problem, Terry? Don't you feel anything? Yeah. Relief. Relief. Where are you going? I'm through being out here with you. Then let's go. Take the new car out for a spin. You don't want me driving that. You pitched a good game today. You deserve to drive a real car. I like the old far cars you park at Marcelino's. Oh, I get you scared to get in the car, man. Can you believe I spent four hundred dollars on this? Four hundred dollars on a goddamn rocket ship. The guy I bought it from me cracked it up about a month ago. The frame was all bent, so I took it to this guy I know, big meathead. Did this barter deal and fixed it right up. 
Runs pretty good, don't it? It's got a 350 V8 engine under the hood. It said it did some shit to the engine, to the exhaust. But that gearhead shit goes in one ear right out the other. What's the matter with you, bro? What are you talking to? Hey, what's wrong with you? Get out and push. Totaled my car. I'll make it up to you. Tell you, you're still bleeding. You're still bleeding. Get off. Boys think you're going. Probably to jail. I don't think it'll work for the night. So much trouble is he in? Basically none. You got a good kid here. Good pitcher, too. My kid's on the same team. I'd like to see him go all the way this year. Where's your brother? He was released on his own recognizance because he's old enough. We couldn't let this one leave on his own. So isn't there something you can charge him with? Excuse me? Nothing too serious. Looking down all this way shouldn't be for nothing. Consider this your kid's lucky day, Mr. McKay. I mean, uh, no one got hurt, and uh, we're going to cut him a little slack. You know, somebody got to teach him a lesson, so is it going to be you guys who should be doing their jobs instead of feeding my kid donuts, or me? Dad, they said we can go. I heard what he said. Move. Mr. McKay, take it easy on him. You don't want to wind up with two Terries on your hands. Yeah, sure. Thanks for the profound insight. Humiliate me like that again. You understand me? I'm sorry. You should know better than to get into a car with Terry. What is the matter with you? Terry wasn't trying that. I was. He pull that crap on me. Forget about Terry. Terry is beyond. You, I can do something about him. You and me, we're gonna go back home. And catch the double header. sign up, serve my country. Please have a seat. I know you. You're a local kid, right? McKay? Terry McKay.
Son, do you know the Marine Corps motto? Yes, sir. Semper Fi. Yes, is that. It's also the few, the proud, the Marines. Right. With an emphasis on the few. Which means we're very selective. You're not even out of high school yet, and you've already got a criminal record. Son, I don't think you're a Marine Corps material. It's got to be the Marines. I'm sorry, son. I can't help you. You guys are a bunch of pussies. about this game. Baseball is exactly like life. The majority of the time, absolutely nothing happens. And in certain moments and certain days, you get all the glory in the world or all the shit. Quite a break today, you know that, don't you? Yeah. You don't get too many. You should come out and see me pitch, Dad. Doing really good. We made it to the state final. You don't want me to start turning out now, kid. You got a streak going, you go with it. Don't change a thing. Do you ever catch one? Break? Yeah, a few here and there. Yeah, some people, life just happens to them. Don't put yourself in a position where you have no choice. The only choice I ever made was marrying your mother. <laughs> See how that turned out. Yeah. Well, I loved your mother. Joey, I had to take care of something at home. Start the dining room, then I'm gonna need help with the cars. And don't forget, you're closing up with me tonight. Got you. One more thing. Congratulations. I heard you made it into the finals. Yeah, thanks. Well, maybe when you make it into the majors, you can wear a Marcelino's patch on your sleeve or something.
closed. No shit. You owe me. Terry, get out of here. This isn't my money. You know who owns this place. Are you crazy? It makes no difference to me who owns it. It should. And I said I'll make it up to you. All you gotta do is shut up and open the register. Just get out of here. Open it! Anthony, don't point that thing at my brother, you hear me? Shut up! Drop the gun! Is this your place, you bastard? Both of you are dead, you hear it? Yeah? Well, what if I kill you first, huh? Then, how you gonna pay us back? Hey, genius. What do you think, I'm some lone fucking wolf here? I got plenty of friends that enjoy looking for you, especially if I were dead. Well, then I guess I got no choice, huh? Anthony, don't. <coughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, Cole. This one's your brother, right? Obviously, you didn't get the brains in the family. At least I know how to find you. Shut up! I still got the gun! Open the goddamn drawer! You open it yourself. I'm not gonna help you dig your own grave. It's for Dad, Cole. The money's for Dad, all right? No amount of money is gonna make Dad better, Terry. Hey, Cole. You better call me an ambulance. I'm bleeding like a son of a bitch. No one's using the phone. Make sure he gets taken care of. Hey, Cole, one more thing. Only this guy robbed us. Your idiot brother had nothing to do with it, understand? No, Joey, no way. I'll say he was here if I have to. You little narc! Hey, asshole. This little narc's trying to keep you breathing. You know why I don't want you here, tough guy? I'll tell you why. Because when they find you dead, the cops will make a connection between you and me, you junkie piece of shit. Shut up! Fuck you! Don't you tell me to shut up! Terry! Don't. Get shooting, Pete. We're family. You and me. Black Irish. You know, you're more like Black Irish. You're soft and sweet. And you're hollow on the inside. We may be brothers, but I'm nothing like you. You got that right. Come on, son. Please, I'll take you over to the hospital. Choice. Of course you didn't. I'm glad you're here. You could see father.
<laughs> Jesus Christ, why did you make me do it? Look too bad up there. Oh no. It looks peaceful, nice and quiet. No disappointed wife. No kids driving up the wall. People admire you. How about we switch? Hmm? I'll go up there and across. You come down here and live in South Boston. <clears throat> How long have you been here? Since last night. Grab those clothes there, would you? <clears throat> oh, that's... It's not such a good idea, Dad. Don't shovel dirt on me yet. Are you calling the shots now? You, you, you think you're a big man all of a sudden? Huh? Yeah. Maybe I am. So it's gotta be. You're not walking out of here until we talk to a doctor now. Keep your hands Just off me. Get back in bed. Keep your hands off me. I'm not talking to any quack, doctor. I'm not talking to you. <coughs> I'm tired of all this. You understand me? favorite color was burgundy. Your favorite team was the Cincinnati Reds. And you didn't go to camp when you were eight because you thought the kids would make fun of your ears. I know you did. And I love you.
sure he's going to make it. He'll face charges, but he'll make it. Your father. How have you been? Fine. Okay. Here's my number. Or want me to come by and help out in any way. Wait. I know you can do it yourself. But it's not just about you, Katie. I've heard all this before, Ma. I didn't come here for this, okay? I'm asking you to come home. I can help take care of the baby while you get on your feet. I don't want to lose another. Looks anymore. I'll think about it, okay? I do miss my kid brother. Sorry. See that guy over there? Where? Him? No. Don't point. Major League Scout. He was asking about you. I'll be here to check up on you, though. Anyone crowds the plate, throw it right at that friggin' head. Keep him honest. Okay, let's go. Got a game to play. <laughs> Call. <Cole. clears throat> Hope I don't mess with your streak. Double blossom, a cherry wine. Right off in the sunset, stay behind. You can hear the horses stirring. You're growing like the Long journey occurring. Tell me everything you're dreaming of. Let me tell you about the speed of love. 